Good morning. Happy Saturday. Uh, right now it's nearly 10 o'clock. <laughs> um, I was up late last night watching a movie and I don't usually get to sleep in, so today I did. Um, I have some fun stuff scheduled for today. This morning I gotta do homework. Um, I'm gonna go get lunch. Then I've got rehearsal from 2.30 to 4.30. Then I'm gonna go see a show at the coffin. So it should be fun. Okay, so I've got my breakfast going. I have some peanut butter toast. I have an apple and I have my coffee. I usually have my coffee with milk in it, but I'm out of milk. I have to go grocery shopping tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna watch some dry guides and then I'm gonna get some work done. show off some of the books I'm reading for school. This beast of a book is uh, Classical Technique Ballet Technique, and I'm currently using it for uh, pedagogy. It has really amazing pictures. It kind of makes me want to cry. Um, and then for composition, I am reading The Intimate Act of Choreography. And this book has been really interesting so far. There have been a couple of light bulbs and then also a couple of like, what on earth is she talking about? Um, and then I'm reading The Ultimate Classic, uh, The Hero with a Thousand Faces, for Discourse. And this book is basically explaining why all of the stories are the same. If you've ever heard of the monomyth, um, it's basically all, it's how each story fits into a perfect circle. So that's what this giant book is about. And this has some cool pictures too. So, all good stuff. Alright, so I've made myself look more alive, <laughs> um, and I think I'm gonna go get some lunch now. Show off something fun before I go. Um, so my floor was spontaneously generating puddles, um, and it didn't look like there was anything coming from the ceiling. So I put in a maintenance request, and um, the guys came in and they ripped a hole in my wall. So this is where shelves used to be, and now it's just spooky. Uh, they have the decency to cover this one up though. And there was a dehumidifier in here, um, but they took it out yesterday, which I was really glad because it was making it uh, hard to sleep. Um, and then the other fun side effect of that is that there's no hot water in our shower. Um, and it's the weekend, which means maintenance guys don't come in over the weekend, which means we gotta deal with cold showers all week. So, fun times. Hey. Hello. How's it going? It's going well. How are you? Thank you so much. Okay, so had a good lunch. Uh, from brunch, it was breakfast food. Um, it's really nice outside. It's so it's sunny and it's like 35 degrees, which has been much warmer than it's been recently. Um, I have to find something to do for like 45 minutes before I have rehearsal. Uh, so now it's just the debate of whether I watch an episode of House or if I do more homework. Honestly, it's a 50 50 chance. It's my prostate, isn't it? Nope, not your prostate. Herpes. Herpes. I chose House. Herpes. You married? No. You can go back to taking the deep breaths now. Marriages don't fail because couples get bored. They fail because while they're dating, people pretend to be the person they think their partner wants, and then, well, there's only so long you can keep that up. Maybe they are that person while they're dating, but then they change. People thinking their partner will change, that's another reason marriages fail.
Okie doke. It's two o'clock. I've got my leotard on and I'm ready to rock and roll for rehearsal. So let's go. Rehearsal's over. I'm second cast, so it was pretty boring. I just kind of learned it all on the side and didn't get to run it all out. But that's what happens when you're a freshman. Um, now I'm gonna go get dinner, uh, even though it's kind of early, and then go back and start getting ready for the show. Eating gluten-free is pretty, actually pretty easy here. Um, I just stay away from anything that has gluten in it. Uh, so this is turkey pot pie, but without the top part, and rice and vegetables. So, it's not as hard as you think. It's the weekend. Some french fries. I'd just like everyone to acknowledge how giant this cookie is. Like, <laughs> it's basically the size of my face. This is a giant cookie. I don't usually have glutinous desserts from the calf, but this cookie was just so big and so huge looking, I had to. So, back in my room. It's like 5, 10 right now, and I don't really have to leave until like, 6 30 6 45 um so i'm gonna chill for a little bit i uh, probably watch another episode of house unfortunately i'm kind of addicted <laughs> um maybe read some more chapter of my book and then i'm gonna start getting ready to go I no it's fine if you stay the place i, I was gonna move the guy never calls I'm all ready to go. I'm dressed up, dolled up, hair done, makeup done. Uh, time to go catch a bus. Let's go. the uh, Chiefs won the Super Bowl. The whole city's lit up red. And we got a full moon tonight. It was so pretty. Okay, so the show I went to see was the Mark Morris uh, dance group, and it was Pepperland, and it was all kind of loosely based off of uh, the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band uh, song and album, kind of. Um, I think I can safely say it was 
unlike anything I've ever seen. Um, some of it was just a little weird. They seem to have technique, but not really. It's also really windy and kind of cold out. So I'm sorry for the poor sound quality. Um, but, and there was this one piece that was really frustrating to watch where it had a bunch of different polyrhythms. So it was like the melodies in 4-4 time, but the drums were in 6-8 and there was a 5-4 time as well. Uh, yeah, so then also at the end, he had a Q&A and he, uh, Mark Morris did, and he is just like the craziest person ever. <laughs> like he just doesn't care. Um, and then I was going to try and get a mirror selfie, but there are too many people in the bathroom. So it's a, I decided it's not worth it. And I ran into Miss Kelsey, who was my dance teacher at, in Omaha. And she spoke at my graduation and she apparently had a friend in the show. So it's a small world, I guess. Um, so now I'm going to try and catch the bus home. Um, maybe get some ice cream. That's a hard maybe though. I just realized I never really showed off my outfit. I'm wearing a cute dress I got for $5 at Goodwill. I got my signature red lipstick, or at least I like to think it's my signature. Um, my earrings are little dragons, and then I just had some tights and some boots on. Nothing too fancy. All right, what a day. It's been a long day. I'm cold, I'm tired. I didn't end up getting ice cream, but I did just go get some candy. So I'm probably gonna eat candy finish my house episode go to bed uh but thanks for coming along on my pretty eventful saturday it's not usually this exciting um i hope you enjoyed i hope you come back for more uh this channel is going to be a little bit varied it's going to be some day in the life stuff like this um maybe if i start like getting a following i'll do like q a's and things um and it's also going to be a lot of schoolwork stuff it's going to be a lot of responses from my discourse um, but yeah, thanks so much for coming with me and I hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.